What's up, everybody? It's your favorite inconsistent blue lock channel, um, animation here. We have the chapter 241 leaks to discuss. Um, originally, my plan was to wait for the official translations to drop and read comments off uh, the site that I use to read the official translation, but this is taking way too long. So instead, what I have done is gather some comments from Instagram, the Reddit, and see what every opinions, what everybody's opinions on the chapter is. And basically react to those comments and react to the chapter as a whole. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Nagi fell off so hard, he isn't even the poster boy for Manshine anymore. Laughing my ass off. Baru will cook him so hard. Honestly, this doesn't surprise me at all. It's pretty obvious that um, Nagi's downfall arc is going to continue, maybe until he faces against Batra. Um, Yeah, it seems like um, Shigiri is the new poster child for Manshine. Despite the fact that Nagi was originally supposed to be the poster child, it seems that it's Chigiri now. He's way more consistent than Nagi now. Um, he's definitely going to score a goal this match. Um, Nagi's not going to score at all. The question is, will he score two goals, right? It's pretty obvious that he's going to score at least one. But um, is he going to score two? And what I think will happen is, is that um, Rayo is going to um, turn his back on Nagi, similar to how Nagi turned his back on um, Rio and he is going to give like a credible pass to Chikiri to help Chikiri score some type of super goal which means that Manshine is going to lose to Uber's 3-2 with um, Barrow's probably possibly scoring a hat trick and Chikiri scoring two goals scoring one goal possibly scoring two goals the second goal being some super goal with um with him paired up with Rio because Rio and Rio keeps um being paired up with Nagi and Nagi is going to continue going if his um if Nagi's downfall arc is going to continue onward and Rio is going to continue to part up pair up with him that means that Rio will also go down with his valuation too and I think he will realize that which means I which means that he will pair up with um with Chigiri in this next match in my opinion the true the true irony of this league is that even the manga agrees that Sagi and Kaiser will be unstoppable they link up which everyone on this sub has been saying for over a year. But they hate each other too much to work together. Now, this is an interesting, this is an interesting comment, right? Because I think the PXG and Bastard Munchen match, Munchen or Munchen, Munchen, whatever, Bastard Munchen match will be determined by who decides to pair up first, right? Either um, Ren and Shido is going to pair up before um, Kaiser and Sagi, or Sagi and Kaiser is going to pair up before. Um, Ren and Shido, and whoever pairs up first between those two pairs is going to win this match. Like it's inevitable, in my opinion. Um, I I I I love the discussion between um, Isagi and all his friends making jokes about him being paired up with Kaiser. It was hilarious. I love this moment. I love this whole scene with them reading the comments on um the manga. Like even the manga knows that if Isagi and Kaiser, the manga. Knows that Saga and Kaiser paired up, it'll be raps for everyone in the L. But they just hate each other too much. <laughs> hey, fucking Saga was going super sane in the chapter. It was, I love these little moments, like these um, downtime um, moments between the Bullock players. It's so fun to me. Eager Girl is literally the buggy of Bullock. Bro, bro will be fa failing upwards. Honestly, yeah, it's true. This dude has somehow survived. Time after time after time again, even though he really shouldn't be. And I really hope that he doesn't somehow make it to the U-20 roster, right? I really hope he doesn't pre come out of the Blue Lock 23 roster for um, the U-20 roster. Because it just wouldn't make sense, right? He, I hope he gets like some pro pro professional um, offer, right? But there's no way he can make it to the U-20 roster. Like, this is probably the last we'll see of him. Um, he probably will get a offer, some offer, even a small one, but I don't want to see him in the U20 arc. He provides nothing besides reactions to the other players going off, but, um, there's a lot of other players that could do the same thing that he's doing, so I really hope we don't see more of him after this. Um, i never been that much of a fan of Ikigori, and it was so funny how, like, he was like, oh, Sagi, you know, me and you used to be, like, you know... In the pits, you know, you were ranked 299, I was ranked 300, but like, bro, you know those ranks weren't true, right? You know that even back then, Isagi would father you, like, stop it, bro, stop it. <laughs> Whoever the goalkeeper is for PXG, God save you. Kaiser about shoot and mark one. 
<laughs> but we haven't seen Kaiser sweat at all in any of the matches, but here he is practicing for who knows how long. Just Kaiser impacting at the Kaiser impacting. He's just sweating his balls off. And I absolutely predict that this might happen. Like, we might see a Kaiser Impact faster than any Kaiser Impact we have ever seen. Um, my predictions, we're going to see this man hit the flow and hit a 120% Kaiser Impact that just nobody can even react to it. And I'm all for it. I can't wait for Kaiser to go off. Um, originally, I thought that um, Isagi beating Kaiser would ruin this story, right? I didn't think it made sense for um, Isagi to beat Kaiser, especially this soon into the story, but if it means that we actually get to see Kaiser sweat and pop off in the PXG versus Muchan match, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Three matches to end and we uh, and finally some Kaiser Ness backstory. I wonder if Ness was always a dick right or not. Jokes aside, I think it would be a nice change of place while the two matches are going. I agree. I honestly thought that um originally the Arthur was going to show us these two matches taking place, but I'm all for some Kaiser Nets backstory. I can't believe it took us this long to get some Kaiser Nets backstory. I, I'm really with it. Um, you know, I, I got some predictions um, with my final comment that I'm going to be pointing from, but I, I can't wait for this backstory. I think this backstory is going to make a lot of people change their mind about Kaiser and Nets. Final chapter, final um comment for this chapter. This chapter is called Pickle Radish Inado. It refers to Isagi's and Igarashi's roots as the lowest of the low in Blue Lock. But just wait till we get Kaiser's flashback the next chapter. It turns out that they were also the bottom rung of the team. There's a lot of um evidence supporting this theory, um, especially with like um there's a chapter cover um depicting Kaiser and Isagi and Kaiser is adorned with this flashy robe, this flashy robe fit for a king. But his um soccer ball is completely messed up, completely like something that someone who is struggling in life will use. Like the soccer ball that you'll see is like completely in tatters by Isagi's soccer ball is completely shiny, completely new. So I could cut so I could totally see the um theory that Kaiser and Ness were also like the bottom of the barrel at some point, just like Isagi and um, Monk were as well. Anyway, those are all the comments that I have pulled for uh, this chapter. I hope you guys enjoyed. As I said, I was waiting for the um, official translations to um, drop because I'm going to be real with y'all. The com- so the site that I use pulls comments from Facebook. If you guys know anything about Facebook, those fucking... I might have to do a separate video reacting to some of the comments that I be reading because they are hilarious. But, um, yeah. That's it for now. Um, I'm going to do this every week for every chapter where I react to um, everyone's thoughts on the chapters as a whole. Um, I like this format. I hope you guys like this format as well. Um, if you guys do, um, let me know down in the comments. Comments always help me. Um, I wish I had some comments about videos, but it's whatever. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, uh, subscribe with the Nodi Bell turn on so you don't miss another banger. I'm going to try to be more consistent. I promise. I promise. I know I only have three videos up and they're all like a week. <laughs> they're, all, they're all like one week after another. I know. I know. I promise I will be more consistent. I have, I have, um, as again, I'm going to do this every week so you guys can expect at least one Blue Lock video a week. Um, I have a review that I'm going to do um, for Spider-Man. Fake Red, if you guys um know anything about Spider-Man, Fake Red, all the... I forgot which. Spider-Man, Fake Red, you guys can expect something from me on this. Um, So, I I really look forward to reading this. I haven't read it yet, but it sounds really good. It sounds really good. Oh, oh my fucking God. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm fucking yapping. I always yap in my videos. I need to start writing script. I also have a video uh, later uh, predicting... The match between Priyak Shi and Mu Chen. I, I had to do a separate video for that because I already predicted the matches between Priyak Shi and Bao Shi and Priyak Shi. I mean, and Ubers and Manshine. So yeah, um, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Whenever the next one is, of course.